that if you join me in this video to take this very nice 3D puffer jacket from Clove 3D to Substance Painter. I know we've all been there, make the 3D garment to perfection, but when it comes to texturing, it's kind of a struggling and we don't know how to start or how to call it finish. So let's begin this. But before of that, if you don't know how I made this 3D puffer jacket, the link is in the right corner. You can check it out. For the first thing, we need to deal with UV. What are UVs? Actually, if you come over here on the simulation and go to UV editor, you can see all your patterns. They are kind of not quite there. So let's select them all and right click reset UV to 2D window. This is how you already uh, place them in the 2D window. So if you want to make it much easier, it's better if you do it in 2D window. However, it's your call. If you don't have multiple texture, so you need to apply several textures for several things. For example, let's call this over layer. Um, this could be under layer. Let's set this for your demonstration. Set this to uh, red and set this one to blue and apply. This is my under layer. Okay. If you see this, these are several textures that set to several fabrics. So if this is your case, keep going and make as much as you want. But if not, um, select all of it and just set it to one fabric. And don't forget to delete the unused fabric. So let's go to UV editor. We need to select all the patterns with all same fabrics and put it in one cluster. We call this square shapes a cluster. Okay, now we need to select them all, make them small and put them all in the first Cluster. Make it a little bit bigger. One thing you need to notice is that if you want this to have a, a bigger or better resolution, you need to make this not as a small as molecule. So try to make it proper and then Ctrl S on your keyboard. We deal with this. Now it's time if you want to change any particle distance. For example, if you want to set this to um, probably, let's say, 5. Here on the property editor, under miscellaneous, you can set the mesh type to the quad. This is completely up to you guys. It's not something that you need to do. It's something that makes your work much, much better. Let's simulate it for the last time for the uh, quad and particle distance to be applied. Otherwise, it doesn't show properly. Let's stop the simulation. Now it's time to export it. Let's go to the file and export as an OBJ. Let's call the file name subscribe. Okay, select all the patterns, but we don't need the avatars. Select all the graphics and trims. That's completely up to you. Multiple objects. I usually uh, check it as a fake and save with the absolute textures. Okay. Now let's jump over to Substance Painter. Okay, this is my Substance Painter over here, and I want to also open my files and set it right 
next to this now it's time to find my files and choose the obj file just drag and drop it and over here because after this i want to take it to blender i use the um, blender template if you don't want you can start with this one pbr metallic roughness alpha blend but i'm going to have blender it doesn't uh, matter much and i want to set the resolution resolution to 2048 and that's all i need let's hit ok and this is our garment first thing first we need to bake the texture maps over here from the texture set settings and on the mesh maps we can bake mesh maps bake selected textures it takes a while it completely depends on your computer how it can handle it return to painting mode in case of you're curious about navigating in this program is holding shift with right click and you can change the, the light and holding alt using left click and hover your mouse and if you want to apply the textures the fabrics over here we have two kinds of fabrics two kinds of materials one of them is uh, this one all the materials when you apply apply them there are only one layer over here so if you want to edit this you're going to properties field and you can change the colors or you can change the tiling you can change the um, rotation this is things that you can customize but if you don't want to um, use this one and start with uh, smart materials, this leather damage, drag and drop. And it comes with a folders. When you open the folders, there are a load of things you can customize. There are so many layers over each other which you can customize, you can delete it, you can uh, completely make another thing of it or you can change the color for example let's see the um, damages over here if I turn them off there are no damages at all or I can turn them on and click on them going to properties fill and give them height or give them the roughness look it's gonna kind of can you see it's kind of uh, glossiness or not glossy I usually using a smart um, materials and then I change them whatever I want for example this base color let's go and change the base color for example to black to uh, to white to whatever you want and then when you change the roughness you can make a, a leather to kind of velvet materials it's not a leather anymore it doesn't look like leather so this is how you can uh, customize and uh, do whatever you want to do right now let's get into mine one i go with the gloss films this is how it turns out this is the smart materials it comes with the folders you see this is the dirt on it i'm gonna turn the dirt off completely and let's click on it and delete it okay when i want to have a layer over it i usually select the materials and add another layer another layer could be my pen 
which I can draw very easily. For example, if you want to have your pen, just click on it, go to properties, and over here, the alignment, I usually set this to UV. This is very important. For example, this letter, put it on the material mode on the, or the base color. I'm going to drop it on the material mode. I change the color to a little bit white. And now I want to apply it over here. Hold shift, click, click, hold shift, click, and you have also one sum on the pockets. Okay, this is how it turns out. I usually have a struggling with the zippers when I take them from Cloth 3D to a uh, blender. They don't have any materials. As you can see, it's completely flat. What I do regarding zippers, I go to um, have another layers. Again, with the pen, we can label this uh, with double clicking and then write um, with it. this as a zipper. We can also go um, to the section, to the pen section, and search for zipper. I'm going with the, the zipper. Now let's um, choose the size. We can do it here. Let's see how it comes out. It seems a little bit not good. Good, let's go choose this zipper. Size should be properly. Start from here to here. Don't worry, you cannot see it. Okay. Um Regarding zippers, we usually need to find the zippers over here on the material tab and then um, go with it. So let's go choose this. What is this one? This is not our zipper. How about this one or this? This, this, this. And this, yes. This is our zipper. I found our zipper. Let's go to the layers. We can delete the first layer and then add a pen layer. We can label it to a zipper. Head over here and to the pen and search for a zipper. I usually select this kind of zipper. That's completely up to you. I'm going with for the zipper. You need to set the size to 2.30. Alignment should tangent planner. And the size of space should be to texture. On your 3D viewport, you can click, click, hold, and click. And there you go. You click, hold, shift, click. You have the rest of the zipper. And now it seems everything's done. If you have other zippers, go with it. Or if you want to have the stitches, you can do the same thing with the zippers. You can apply it to your garment and it comes out very well. Now I'm happy completely with everything. Let's go and export it. So I'm going to file and export textures. For exporting textures, you have loads of textures and materials over here and that's because um, over here we haven't labeled them. So you can label them here, you can set this to zipper, 
and then you turn it off you can see on your 3d view code that the material is going off or on and the rest you don't really need to file export textures you don't need to export mesh because you already have it so i want to uncheck these and only have these two files so this is the output uh, directory where you can uh, download all your uh, textures i'm gonna do it over here and uh, output template again i set it to blender if you want to take it to another uh, program just choose it over here it has loads of it if you don't want you want to go back to cloud 3d just go with the uh, blender methodic roughness and here if you want to take it again to blender choose blender over here if you have opacity don't forget to click on rgba as well and let's export all here and let's export it here that's done you can close it or and you can control s to save the files for your substance painter if anything of the uh, materials having issues you can come back here and export it again you don't need to start it from scratch this is the end of the video i hope you like it and don't forget to subscribe see you on the next one